to one class. My name is Ibrahim and a little bit about me is that I'm a third year student at the University of Toronto in computer science and statistics and today we're just going to be going over a few math questions at the high school level and if you guys have any questions or need any homework help or tutoring just check down the link, links in the description down below and uh, let's get started. So our first question is, what is inverse in mathematics? So the inverse is, uh, is, is the, the inverse function is written like this, right? And we set this to equal to y. So then in our case we have y equals, we have a function, sorry, f at x equals to our function, right? Then we let we let y equal to our function and then we substitute y and x in our in our function. So in this case, let's look at our solution here. The word inverse means reverse in direction or position. It comes from the Latin uh, word inversus which means to turn upside down or inside out. In mathematics, an inverse operation is an operation that undoes what was done by the previous operation. The four main mathematical operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, the inverse of addition is subtraction, and vice versa. The inverse of multiplication is division, and vice versa. Let's, like, let's take a look at some examples to show how inversion works. Take the simple addition problem 4 plus 3 equals 7. If we want to reverse the addition, we just subtract 7 minus 3 equals 4, and we are back to where we started. The same is true for multiplication and division. 2 times 8 equals 16, and 16 over 8 equals 2. These are very simple examples, but the rule holds true for even complex addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division pro problems. Here are the properties of inverse, the additive inverse property. So the additive inverse property states that when you add a number to its op opposite, the result is always 0. So 2 plus negative 2 equals 0, 360 plus negative 369 equals 0, 1000 plus negative 1000 equals 0, and a plus negative a equals 0. The multiplicative inverse property which is that when you multiply any number by its opposite, the result is always 1. So 6 times 1 over 6 is 1. 205 times 100, 1 over 205 is 1. The additive property the additive property states that when you add any number to 0, the result is the same number. 7 plus 0 equals 7. A plus 0 equals A. The multiplicative property the multiplicative property states that any time you multiply a number by 1, the number does not change. 13 times 1 equals 13, and c times 1 equals c. And now into solving equations, which is where I started off going on to. Solve x by the by the equation 2x plus 3 equals 17. In order to solve this problem, we must, must isolate the x on one side of the equation. The first step is to remember that the inverse operations of addition and multiplication are subtraction and division. The next step is to move the 3 to the right side of the equation by subtracting it from both sides of the equation. This gives you 2x equals 14. The next step is to divide both sides by 2 since division is the op opposite of the multiplication. So 2x divided by 2 will give us x on the left side and 14 over 2 will give us 7 on the right side which is x equals 7. If you are unsure you can always go back and check your answer. To do this substitute 7 for x in the original problem. So 2 times 7 plus 3 which is 14 plus four, 2 times 7 plus 3 which is equal to 14 plus 3 which is 17 as before. Solve the solution of the equation 3x minus 5 equals 19. We're going to add 5 to both sides, so I'm going to just write that one out actually, just show you how to do it. 3x minus 5 equals 19, so we're going to add 5 to both sides to get rid of the 5 here, which gives us 3x equals 2, 24. To get rid of the x now, we're going to divide by 3 on both sides. which will give us 24 divided by 3 is 8. And we can verify this. Which we'll see right here. So if we sub 8 back into our equation, 3 times 8 minus 5, which is 24 minus 5 equals to 19. So therefore this solution is correct.